It was in 2011 when we were at the university and I had this amazing, beautiful project where it was called Life is Game. And the goal was to help kids with autism to improve their communication skills. And in one of the sessions, um, a child and his father came to test our experimental software. And um, after uh, a couple of hours, you could start saying that the, the child will start reacting to the emotions of the 3D character that the software had. Uh, his dad will hold his hand and will help him draw facial expressions on the 3D character. And at the end of the session, something amazing really happened. His dad came and talked to me and asked me if he could take a copy of that software, which allowed to draw facial expression on a 3D character. And I asked him why he wanted the software, not his child. And he said that this way he would actually be able to communicate with his child through the use of facial expressions in the 3D character. So I think if I look back, that was the spark of why we're doing what we're doing today, which is to literally change the way people will communicate. So I'm from Argentina, right? So I wanted to go back to my home country and look into um, Aboriginal languages. So there's a language that's called Mapuche. And I was trying to find something that would, that would mean like your double you, your double me, how can I be represented by someone superior than me. Uh, couldn't find any word in Mapuche. <laughs> so I started looking into other languages and I came to Greek and I found the word Didymo, which actually means your twin brother. What we do at Didymo is we build a technology that allows you from just a single photo or a scanned data to automatically create a digital version of yourself that can speak, look like you, and behave like you. Right now we are seven. Uh, so we are three engineers, uh, two artists, we have a business developer person in London and an office manager. What we actually came up was with a really fast, automatic and easy solution to create 3D characters. So what we actually do is we automated the whole process. Like a very complex pipeline, we just put it into a black box and we make it available to anyone in the world that has no experience in programming or artistic experience. So now they can actually create their own content if they wish. We're a pretty new company. So it was officially created in, 2000, in July 2016. And we had the huge honor of being selected to be part of um, Techstars in London. So over a thousand candidates, they chosen 11 companies. And that was uh, life changing. If I could just mention two key moments, one was uh, the um, Women Who Tech Award in Google uh, last year in New York, where we, were, we won the first uh, prize. And then being able to also present and, and, and tell the story and share the vision at the TEDx portal. What we want to do is to humanize back technology, to avoid digital isolation, to bring back empathy on, on everyday communication. I'm extremely grateful to Puerto University and Instituto de Telecomunicación for their full, massive support since I joined the university and the research institute. They were the ones that actually initially fund uh, with their own um, grants, the creation of the research lab where I bought the first cameras, the first motion capture. Uh, they gave me initial funding so we could do small projects and start hiring researchers. So literally without them, we wouldn't be here today. And um, closer to the creation of the company, then they, they award us with a UP25 Kappa which was uh, an honor to be part of it together with the Microsoft Technical Award. And on top of that, then the whole process of helping with the IP transfer from the university to the, to the company. And 
most importantly, they're always just like one email, one phone call away. And if we need any help with anything, uh, they're always there to, to back us up. So that's priceless. The greatest satisfaction is that I was able to connect with myself and find out why I'm doing what I'm doing, which is I want to learn all the time and I want to share what I do. And this is the platform we want to be building with Didimo. It's very simple, just really just be nice, be kind, and then just give back. If you do give back, then things happen nicely. Um, I had the chance to be a texter that have that same spirit and uh, it's just fantastic.